hi all so welcome back to this channel once again and in this video session i will be discussing uh, the c close api in rpgle so basically uh, this api is just a posit of the open api in our uh, open c api so this api will basically close all those stream files which are being you open uh, in the program uh, for either for write purpose or for create purpose so whenever we open any file uh, in any mode uh, we need to close that file because a file descriptor is be is being assigned to that file uh, which is used uh, then further uh, in further api calls to uh, let other apis knows which files is being but read right now so if we do not close that uh, file then that um, you can say that descriptor is being allocated to uh, that file until that is not closed so uh, let's say if another file comes and uh, uh, you did not close that uh, earlier file it will assign a next uh, descriptor by incrementing one to it and you will get that another descriptor for the same file or the other file so you need to close that file to uh, basically deallocate the file descriptor which is being allocated to that file so that's why this uh, uh, close c api is used and this is just opposite of the open api and um, so here i'm going to open a file and then we'll close a file so the prototype for this api is uh, int close close is the function name and int file ds so I'll be passing the file descriptor which is being returned from the uh, open API when we open a file in any mode and uh, this will tell me whether the file closed successfully or not because if it is zero or it's closed if it's less than zero that is minus one it will return some error so that's uh, what the prototype is so uh, you can uh, view my this video opening and creating IFS files using C API open in RPG LES format. So uh, this will tell you about open API. So I'll be just briefing you here the open uh, thing and you can get the details uh, of that open API in this uh, video on my channel. Now let's move on to the demo. So uh, here you can see uh, I have already using the open API and its flag so they are same on in every program we don't need to modify them. So open API will uh, accept the path uh, including the file and the mode in which it is open. So in case if it um, mode uh, this is authority and this is the code base ECSID in which you want to create the file and if we are creating a file in the ifs and opening that then we need to set the mode pass the mode otherwise uh, it's not required and if we are only reading if it's already present we we need to pass the o flag and uh, we can open that and then we can close that using this api so this api will return me the file descriptor and this descriptor will be the input parameter to the close api and then we will be returning something uh, in the form of integer whether it's uh, an error or successfully close uh, using the close api so it's a file descriptor and it will return 32 bit number of uh, basically uh, uh, that's not number of bytes that will tell me whether it's an error or not now you will see what i am doing is um, here i am passing the ifs path and uh, then passing the read only uh, mode because that file is already created if it's not created um, i'll be passing uh, create the uh, create file if not exist so we need to pass this flag as well so let's uh, 
let's create one point okay so that So we need to pass that flag as well. So once we uh, uh, create that file and we are reading, uh, we are opening that in read-only mode. So, but we are not going to read that. So we basically. Uh, We can pass the uh, authorities as well here, which could be the mode. So, mode can be uh, this thing uh, that is read owner. So, let me pass all these things. So just sum it up then let me pass this as well so you can see I am passing the uh, open flag and the mode for this because I am going to create this uh, new file on the IFS uh, open file 2 we do not have that file just let me show you we have open file 1 only so this will uh, going to create a file if not exist and it will open that in the read mode with the follow and it will provide the following authorities to the owner uh, when we are going to create this file if its file descriptor is less than 0 which means uh, the file is not opened or created and then uh, what we'll do once it is open we will be closing that uh, uh, file by uh, passing the file descriptor which is written from this open api uh, and we'll be getting some return underscore close that is return value from this api which tells me whether this file is closed or any error occurred while closing that file so uh, let me uh, compile this just uh, compile this with the star source uh, now we will debug this uh, code just set the breakpoint and then call this program so we will see uh, this program is going to execute and we will uh, debug this program line by line so this is the path which I am passing to it just take f10 we are passing this uh, open flag as 9 uh, value and then we are passing this mode very you 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 can watch my uh, uh, this video to better understand why i am passing this value uh, because I explained there how uh, these values gets converted to uh, uh, binary, uh, binary uh, how how these values get passed in the form of binary to this API. So currently, I'm going to open this file. Let's see the file descriptor. It's zero, and then I'm passing the same file descriptor to this. API 
file descriptor 0 and then it will return me it's currently 0 and again you can see it's still 0 so there is no error in closing that file we are successfully uh, we are uh, successfully able to uh, close this file if it's it was minus 1 we, get, we would be getting some error so now let's call it again to see if we return the same file descriptor so you can see uh, we did not include one because uh, we actually closed that so let's say if uh, i pass some uh, some other uh, file descriptor to this let's say one which is actually not assigned to any file being opened so i change this value in the debug mode to pass this you will see return close is minus one this means some error f in shift f6 return close is minus one so this will tell uh, basically uh, there is another api which returns the, the error pointer so we can use that i'll be explaining that in some other video but here uh, just to demonstrate to you that if it fails it will return me minus one and now file descriptor zero which is being opened is not closed because we change this value to one manually now if we call it again you will see that this time this file is already present on the ifs and it will not create that so it's already opened it's it was not closed in the earlier call to this program so file descriptor earlier was zero now this time it will be assigned as one you can see and it's not zero so if i pass one to this it will close that so zero is already open so this time if i again call it will assign one because uh, zero is all one zero file descriptor is already allocated to that api and we manually change that in the uh, so this way you got the concept that how this file descriptor thing works uh, with the file and how you're going to create uh, to close and how what important is to close the file because uh, with every open file a file descriptor is uh, allocated and uh, they are, they will be allocated till the time that, that file is open in that job so we must need to or we must have to close the file if we have open so that the file descriptor which is allocated to that file must be deallocated and uh, available for use uh, for some other files which will be going to open in the job so that's all in this video uh, which tells you about the close uh, c api in rpg program uh, which so uh, that's all thank you